Keeping your Hilti Powder actuated tool clean and well maintained is key to ensuring the best performance possible when using your tool. In this video, we will show you how to properly disassemble, clean, and reassemble the Hilti DX351. Before starting any maintenance on the DX351, be sure the tool is unloaded. Remove the cartridge strip in the tool by gripping the tab and pulling it straight through the top of the tool. To get started, the first thing you should do is remove the fastener guide. Grab the black collar on the fastener guide and unscrew it until free of the threads. Remove the fastener guide from the tool. To remove the piston, rotate the black housing collar on the tool body counterclockwise one full turn and stop. Remove the piston from the piston guide sleeve. After removing the piston, unscrew the black housing collar completely from the tool body until free of the threads. Be careful when pulling the black collar away from the tool so that the piston guide sleeve doesn't just pop out of the tool housing and fall to the ground. Once you have disassembled the tool, you should now take the time to clean the tool. To ensure smooth and efficient operation of the DX351, it should be cleaned regularly. Every day after use is ideal, but at least within 5,000 fastenings. Parts that show powder residue on them should be cleaned. A cleaning kit is included with the Hilti DX351. Use the large wire brush and clean the back of the piston and run the brush in and out of the piston guide sleeve to remove any powder residue. At the back of the piston guide sleeve, there are two ports that need to be cleaned. Use the smallest brush from the cleaning kit and clean out the cartridge seat and the port next to the cartridge seat. Once the brushing is completed, spray a little Hilti Spray lubricant on the brushed parts. Apply sparingly and wipe with a cloth to leave a fine film on the parts. Only use the Hilti Spray lubricant. Other types of lubricant can damage the tool or create a safety issue. Besides cleaning, you will want to check the common wear items on the tool and replace if necessary. Check the piston tip for signs of wear or if the piston is bent. Here are examples of a new piston and a worn piston. Examine the fastener guide assembly for heavy wear on the nose piece, broken pieces, or cracks. Overall, if the part looks doubtful or suspect, replace it. To reassemble the DX351, start by setting the piston guide sleeve into the tool housing. First, locate two marks or lines etched on the back end of the guide sleeve and the metal housing of the tool body. Grasp the piston guide sleeve in one hand with the threaded end of the sleeve in the palm of your other hand. Push the back end of the piston guide sleeve into the front end of the black housing collar. Note the two marks or lines on the back of the guide sleeve. Be sure these are facing up. With the guide sleeve pressing against the palm of your hand, apply pressure on the guide sleeve, compressing the spring into the black housing collar. Grip the housing with your fingers tightly to hold the piston guide sleeve in a compressed state in the collar. Holding the piston guide sleeve and the black housing collar together, press the assembly into the tool housing, aligning the marks or lines on the guide sleeve and tool housing. Press in the piston stops or wings with the other hand when the guide sleeve has been inserted far enough for the stops to fit into the slots on the side of the piston guide sleeve. Release the black housing collar to trap the stops and then screw it into the tool housing one to two turns. Push the piston into the piston guide sleeve as far as it will go, inserting the big end first and then tighten the black housing collar the rest of the way. Hold the tool securely and press the fastener guide assembly firmly over the piston to engage the threads of the fastener guide collar with those threads on the piston guide sleeve. Screw the fastener guide collar into the tool until an audible click is heard. You will also feel the collar set into place. To help verify the tool is assembled and operating correctly, and without loading a cartridge strip, 
Depress the tool against a firm surface, like a workbench or the floor, and pull the trigger. The firing pin should release, making an audible click. The tool is now ready for use. If the tool has the collated nail magazine option installed, place a strip of nails in the magazine to perform the dry fire test. Be sure there's not a cartridge strip loaded in the tool. Now, regular cleaning and tool maintenance means less downtime, more productivity, and consistent quality in your fastenings. Now, for more information regarding proper tool maintenance, refer to your tool's operator manual or contact Hilti Technical Services.